amazing animals that live underground. The platypus is one of the strangest creatures on the planet. They have a duck-billed, beaver-tailed, otter-footed, egg-laying aquatic creature native to Australia. The platypus's body is covered in thick, dark brown fur and is flat and streamlined. It has a broad, flat tail with short, stout legs and webbed front feet well suited to its life in the water. The tail acts as a stabilizer when the platypus swims and is also used for burrowing. When platypuses sink into the water to eat, their senses of sight, smell, and hearing turn off. Even their little ears tuck into a groove with their eyes. That's okay because their bills are so sensitive that they can find their food by sensing sound waves, motion, and the electric fields they generate. Mice have a slender body, blunt or tapered muzzle, scantily haired, prominent ears, narrow hind feet with bald soles, and sharp, small claws. The thinly furred tail appears hairless, it may be about as long as the head and body, or it can be much shorter. They usually grow up to 3 inches with tails nearly as long as their bodies. Mice also range in color from light brown to black and have slightly pointy noses, small eyes, and large, nearly hairless ears. If a house mouse is a pet, the average lifespan is about 2 years, but mutant and calorie-restricted captive individuals have lived for as long as 5 years. Pangolins look like a mix between a small anteater and a pinecone. They have a long snout, with a long tongue, a rounded back, and a long tail. Hardened scales cover their bodies, these scales are made of keratin, the same substance that your hair and fingernails are made of. They look like reptiles, all covered in scales. They look like armadillos, the way they roll up in a ball. They look like anteaters, with those long snouts and tongues. A pika is a small, mountain-dwelling mammal found in Asia and North America. With short limbs, very round body, an even coat of fur, and no external tail, they resemble their close relative, the rabbit, but with short, rounded ears. Pikas have short, stout bodies with big, round ears and do not have a visible tail. Pikas reach a size of about 7 to 8 inches, 18 to 20 centimeters, in length. The American pika has a brown and black coloration, which is meant to camouflage them among rocks. Pika fur is thick to keep them warm in the winter. Jerboas are mouse-like, with bodies ranging from 5 to 15 centimeters, 2 to 5.9 inches, in length and long tails of 7 to 25 centimeters. Certain traits are highly variable between species, particularly the size of the ears, which range from small and round to slender and rabbit-like or remarkably large and broad. Many jerboa species live in desert areas near oases or valleys. They forage for food in open areas with sparse vegetation often to avoid competing with gerbils, which live in many of the same areas, but prefer heavier vegetation. The bilby is known for its long snout, blue-gray fur, white underbelly, and long, hairless ears that resemble those of rabbits. On its tail is a prominent band of black fur that terminates with a white tuft that surrounds a naked, spur-like tip. The greater bilby is the size of a rabbit, and has a long pointed nose, silky pale blue-gray fur with a tan belly, big ears, and a crested black and white tail. They measure up to 55 centimeters in body length, and their tail can be up to 29 centimeters long. Mongooses are short-legged animals with pointed noses, small ears, and long furry tails. The claws do not retract, and in most species there are five toes on each foot. The fur is gray to brown and is commonly grizzled or flecked with lighter gray. The common dwarf mongoose has soft fur ranging from yellowish-red to very dark brown. It has a large pointed head, small ears, a long tail, short limbs, and long claws. Mongooses are short-legged animals with pointed noses, small ears, and long furry tails. Burrowing owls are small, sandy-colored owls with bright yellow eyes. They live underground in burrows they dug themselves or taken over from a prairie dog, ground squirrel, or tortoise. They live in grasslands, deserts, and other open habitats, where they hunt mainly insects and rodents. They have a bold white throat and eyebrows, and yellow eyes. The brown juveniles are less mottled than adults, 
with buffy yellow underparts and wing patch. Burrowing owls spend most of their time on the ground or on low perches such as fence posts. They hunt close to the ground catching insects and small animals. The fennec is the smallest of the foxes with enormous ears, a tiny face, and a pointed snout. The fennec fox is cream in color with a long, three quarters of the head and body length, black tip tail. Head and body 35 to 40 centimeters, 14 to 16 inches. Their coats are long, soft, and thick and range in color from reddish cream to light fawn to almost white. Their undersides are pure white, and their tails are bushy with black tips. These foxes are adapted to life in the desert. Moles are small, burrowing mammals. Their eyes are poorly developed, but what they lack in sight, they make up for in their sense of touch. All moles have very sensitive snouts and long, claw digits that they use to dig tunnels. A mole is 4 to 7 inches in length with paddle-shaped feet and prominent digging claws. It has an elongated head and snout, small eyes, and no external ears. The short black to brownish gray fur has no grain, which allows the mole to move easily forward and backward in the tunnels. The badger is a brown fur-covered mammal with short legs and low profile. The head appears pointed and small for the body. They have short ears and a short, furry tail. Badgers weigh 4 to 12 kilograms. The body is flattened, and the legs are short and stocky. Badgers are covered in a mix of gray, black, and buff fur with distinctive white and black markings, or badges, on their faces. They are also known to have a white stripe that starts at the tip of the nose and continues over the head to the middle of their shoulders. This stout-bodied rodent weighs up to 6 kilograms, 13 pounds, and has a body length of up to 50 centimeters, about 20 inches, and a short, bushy tail up to 18 centimeters, 7 inches, long. Thick fur on the upper parts ranges in color through various shades of brown, the feet are darker, and the underparts are buff. Groundhog's fur varies in color from brownish gray to dull brown, to cinnamon color. Groundhogs like all ground squirrels can stand on their hind legs. Groundhogs like all rodents have four chisel-like incisors in the front of their mouths. Chipmunks are rodents that are a type of squirrel. These small, furry animals are identified by their stubby legs, bushy tails, and the white, black and brown stripes that run down their backs. Chipmunks are small mammals with distinct stripes, while the tree squirrel is larger and doesn't have stripes. The ground squirrel has body stripes like chipmunks, but no head stripes. A tree squirrel is larger, has a longer tail, and no stripes. They all have short fur and small rounded ears. Their short, coarse fur is grizzled yellowish buff to reddish or rich cinnamon. Prairie dogs have a short tail, small rounded ears, and short legs with long, strong claws. These rodents weigh up to 1.7 kilograms, 3.7 pounds, with a body 28 to 33 centimeters, 11 to 13 inches, long. Prairie dogs live in grasslands throughout the Great Plains. Their population health impacts numerous other species, so they are one of the keystone species of the West. Prairie dogs are very social and live in large colonies in underground burrows. Gophers are small, furry rodents that burrow tunnels through yards of North America and Central America. Their full name is Pocket Gopher because they have external fur-lined cheek pouches or pockets. Gophers have broad flat heads, compact bodies, small ears and eyes, and short snouts. Their tails are almost completely void of hair, but are usually brownish in color with a white tip. Gophers have fur-lined external cheek pouches that they use to carry food in. They are medium to large spiders, varying from 1 cm to 5 cm body length. Males are more lightly built than females. Body color can vary from black to brown, but the hard carapace covering the front part of the body is always sparsely haired and glossy. Funnel web spiders are dark in color, ranging from black to brown, with a shiny head and thorax. Some of these spiders greatly resemble tarantulas. They are one of the most venomous spiders in the world. 
They are extremely cute, with bushy, brown-striped fur, a small, pointed face, and large eyes surrounded by dark patches. They average about 20 inches, 50 centimeters, long, including their tail. These extremely social animals live together in burrows, which they dig with their long, sharp claws. Meerkats inhabit dry open areas, scrublands, and savannas. They inhabit all parts of the Kalahari Desert in Botswana and South Africa. They usually live in places where there is plenty of sandy soil, where they can dig elaborate underground burrows. Weasels are small mammals with long bodies and necks, short legs and small heads. They are closely related to ermine, ferrets, polecats and minks all members of the Mustela genus and are in the same family, mustelids, as badgers, wolverines and otters. Weasels are cunning and adept predators that hunt prey tirelessly throughout the day and night. They're skilled climbers, swimmers and runners. Their long, slender bodies allow them to raid underground burrows, follow rodents into small spaces, and wrap themselves around larger prey to hold them still. Their bodies are covered with a hard armor called the exoskeleton. Most ants are either red or black in color and length can be anywhere from one-third to one-half. Like other insects, they have six legs, each with three joints. Ants have large heads with compound eyes, elbowed antennae, and powerful jaws. They are skinny insects. Like their relatives the wasps, they have a narrow connection between their abdomen and thorax. They have chewing mouthparts, and their antennae are bent in the middle. Some ant species are very tiny, 1 to 2 millimeters long, but some tropical species are very large, 30 millimeters.